It's Countdown to Christmas episode five. Hi everybody. I hope you're enjoying this series so far and I'm sorry it hasn't been uploaded when it should be. Usually it's been uploaded the day after it's supposed to be, but I'm gonna try to get better, I promise. But today, um, I wanted to show you how I wrap Christmas presents because when you have CP, it can be difficult. Um, well, <laughs> let's face it, even if you don't have CP, it can be difficult. But, um, especially if you have CP because of coordination issues. Um, and I'm gonna have my mom kind of help me a little bit. Usually what we do is I fold the paper. I'm meticulous with paper. I have sort of an OCD sort of thing when it comes to Christmas. I want, if we have, for instance, if we have four different kinds of wrapping paper, I want to start with one wrapping paper and go through every wrapping paper before I go back to that first one again. Same with the bows. I want lots of different bows, lots of different tags. You know, I'm just, I don't know what it is about that, but I've always been that way. And usually when my mom and I wrap gifts, it's usually I'll wrap and she'll tape. But this year, I kind of want to try at least one on my own, um, just to see if I can do it on my own. And what she's going to do in the background is when I need tape, she's going to hand me the tape. Or, you know, I'll, she'll probably have to cut the paper for me because I can't cut straight, <laughs> uh, ever. <laughs> so, she'll probably have to cut it for me, but other than that, I'm going to try to do it all on my own, except for tearing the tape. She's I just wanted to that. show you before I show you how I wrap. This is the paper I picked out. I don't know if you can see that. It's it's red with snowflakes and snowman. I think it's really cute. Um, and this may sound silly, but I love to pick bows that not only really the color of the package, but something that goes well with it. So I picked a silver bow. And this is what she's getting. She's getting a frozen Elsa on an Olaf bath set. It comes with hand soap. As uh, I think it comes with hand soap, bubble bath, and like a body wash or something like that. And she is a frozen fanatic, so I'm hoping she Now that my camera is positioned, let's get started. <laughs> and I'm sorry if it's far away, but it's the only thing, only way I can work it. So the first thing I do is pull it as tight as I can this way. Okay, I'm going to need some tape. Oh, I hate sticky, sticky tape. Okay, and then I tape it down so that it holds still. That should be good. Now, bring this side up. Pull the good and try. So, bring that side up. And then... That tape wrinkled a little bit, but that's okay. As long as it sticks, that's all I care about. A little longer pieces, please. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, maybe it's not too bad. Let's see. Okay, I think that's good. The tape got a little wrinkled, but I think it's okay. <sighs> okay, now, the sides, which for some weird reason has always been my favorite part to do. So you can see, right? Okay. Another piece.
messed up a piece of tape. <laughs> but that happens. Have you ever used so much tape that it literally leaves your fingers feeling weird? Like tape pulled on your fingers so much? Side. Uh oh. Ooh, that was close. That almost didn't cover it. Okay, I'm gonna need an extra pair of hands. Mom, will you come in here and take this for me? That, that, I gotta hold that. <laughs> Alright, tape it down. <laughs> okay, now. Now, turn it over. I always break my bows right in the center and give it a good press. And then put a tag on it. I'm going to put her name on it afterwards because I don't want the public to know her name. I'm sure. Her parents would not appreciate that very much, so I'm just going to put from my name, uh, Aunt Nima, and then leave it at that, but I will fix it later. I'm thinking I want to put this one on hers, because yeah. I think it's cute. I will put, I always put my gift tags in the corner, and my bows in the middle. So I'm going to put that right. And the completed gift. I'll hold it up so you can see it better as soon as I lower my camera down to normal size again. Um, but this is what it looks like. And I don't think I did too bad of a job. The only thing my mom done was peel the tape off for me and cut the wrapping paper to size. But I, I sized it. She just cut it. Um, because I'm not very good at cutting. But other than that, I did it pretty much on my own. And I hope so. Oh. This is the completed gift. And if you still can't see it, it's basically a reindeer with a little speech bubble and a snowflake in the corner. I thought it was really cute. But this is basically my first time wrapping a gift on my own. Basically, I measured out the paper. My mom cut it because, like I said, I can't cut anything really well. Um, and she just handed me the tape except for that one time that you'll see um but for the most part it was pretty much a while and i'm really happy with the way it turned out okay this um one hopefully will be up before thursday this time um and uh, like i said i didn't get to pre-record yesterday but i'm gonna pre-record soon like probably tomorrow for friday hopefully and um but that's all for this video if you have any suggestions comments questions please leave them down below i love hearing from you guys and if you want to you can follow me on twitter tumblr instagram keek and vine i think that's all oh and pinterest too um i will link everything uh down below in the description if you want to follow me i love getting new followers and subscribers so i'll talk to you guys later bye